Good afternoon and welcome. I want to thank you for uh, coming, being so polite and excellent listeners. As you know, last spring we had Max Lane from the Patriots come here and challenge you guys to complete your summer reading, which was one fiction and one nonfiction book. And your English teachers have reported to me and I've reported to the Patriots that 97% of you have met that goal, so congratulations. So because of your efforts this summer, those that completed their summer reading will be receiving a certificate. Hopefully we'll have enough time at the end of the day to get those to you in back in your home rooms. And that certificate is from the Patriots and the Kraft family. It's my pleasure right now to introduce Dan McPherson from the Patriots to introduce our special guest. Good afternoon, everybody. How's everybody doing? Yeah. Oh, I think we can be a little louder than that. How's everybody doing? Yeah. Awesome. That's awesome. I'm very happy to hear it. Uh, on behalf of the Kraft family and the Patriots Charitable Foundation, I want to thank you guys for all your support and for all your hard work during the summer. We know that it's hard to get back inside and, and read when you want to just be outside playing all day during the summer. So we really are excited and happy that you guys were able to achieve this goal, and we're excited to be here. And at, with no further ado, I just want to introduce our special guest. So, um, our special guest is originally from Miami, Florida, and he attended a community college before he transferred to the University of Cincinnati. Once he got there, he played for two seasons as their wide receiver, and uh, following his college career, he was signed by the New England Patriots as an undrafted rookie free agent. Um, he worked his butt off during the offseason, and he made the team, and he's now one of the starting wide receivers. Did any of you guys watch the game on Sunday? Yeah? Awesome. Well, well, for those of you who did, you saw that this particular player caught not one, but two touchdown passes from Tom Brady. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce, I'd like to introduce our special guest, Patriots wide receiver, number 85, Ken Burrell Tompkins. How y'all doing today? Y'all gotta get louder than that. How y'all doing today? That's a lot better. First of all, I just wanna say thank you so much. It's a pleasure for me to be here and I'm excited to speak to each and every single last one of y'all. Thank you so much. Now I've got a couple questions that I wanna ask Ken Brell, okay? So Ken Brell, growing up, were you a big reader? I was, I was. Uh, I took reading. I took reading pretty serious because you know, growing up, you know, reading it, it helped you. It helped you learn. It helped the process of, process of learning and the things that that you need to know. So reading was a big part of my life growing up. Awesome. So can you talk a little bit about the importance of reading as you've gotten older and how that sort of translates to the team's success on and off the field? Mm -hmm. uh, reading. Pretty much uh, growing old, you know, the books, they get thicker from being, from being smaller. You, you get the little books right now, and when you get older, the books get thicker. Like right now, I'm dealing with a, a book the size of this right now, and uh, it's, it's pretty hard for me, and I advise all you guys to stay in your books and, you know, continue to get the good grades. Awesome. So can you talk a little bit about the importance for children, particularly middle school students, to t why it's so important for them to continue to read and improve their education? Uh, I think pretty much education is very important. You know, it, it started at a very young age, and you know, education will take you places that you never know you can go. And you know, it started it start, it start here. And each and every single last one of you guys can pretty much go wherever you want to go in life, as long as you continue just to get the good grades, to stay in school, to listen to your teachers, and to read your books, and to make good grades, and you can go wherever you want to go. I know a lot of you guys pretty much want to go to college and pretty much, you know, live your dreams out. Man, you know, it started with reading and start making good grades and all that can happen with, you know, doing the right things with reading your books and making sure that you're on top of the things you need to be on top of. All right, awesome. Let's give one more round of applause for Ken Burrell Tompkins. Thank you. 
So at this time, I'm going to turn it back over to your principal, Principal Thompson. He's going to discuss the special prize that we have for you guys here today. OK. We have, uh, we have two things going on. We're going to have two sets of uh, prize winners. Uh, the first prize winners are going to be our top readers in each grade level. So I'm going to read the grade first. I'll start with the person that read the most books. And everybody read a great amount of books here. But the person who read the most books in Rainer Middle School this summer is from fifth grade, Lexia Blake. And she read 100 books. Lexia, would you come up? Okay, stay up here. Come up, right? Just stand up to the side. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, our next all star book reader is from the seventh grade, Sterling Bentley. <laughs> Sterling read 40 books this summer. Our next book reading all-star is from the sixth grade. Reading 16 books, Allison Carter. Our last all-star book reader from the eighth grade, reading 15 books this summer, Savannah Lee. I'd like to ask uh, Mrs. Nagel to come on up. So what's going to happen is that our all-star book readers and we're going to pick one person who met the reading goal from each grade to also come up uh, and all of the people here will be having uh, a little one-on-one -on -one session or eight-on-one -on -one session, as the case may be, uh, with Kembrell uh, after our assembly. So let's start. All right, so which grade are we dumping in there, Mrs. Nagel? Fifth grade. Fifth grade has been, has been placed into the helmet. And again, if you completed your summer reading, your name is in that helmet right now. So you get to... Brendan Kelly from room 110. <laughs> Dig deep, dig deep. Okay, from the sixth grade, our winner is Alexandria Munkus. Come on down. See, that's much easier. That's a good idea. Okay, now seventh grade. Okay, from seventh grade, Audrey Meckler.
Eighth grade, right over here, Kembro. And our last winner, our eighth grade winner, is Travis Levine. <laughs> okay, folks. Okay, folks, once again, I want to thank you. You guys are always a very impressive audience, and we really appreciate that. But I know I speak for all your teachers when I say we're really impressed with your efforts this summer, and we know it's going to make a difference in your academic success moving forward this year and beyond. Keep up the good work. Keep working hard in the classes. Keep reading. And again, thank you.